Okay, guys, how's it going out there? Rooster and 10, roostercb.com. And today, you're going to take a look at something coming new to the website, and that's the latest version of the Anytone Quad 5 N2. And this one will be our all the way version, if you will. That means the AM regulator has been upgraded, uh, final has been upgraded, and it has had the average power slash modulation mod. We have gone into the service menu and double checked it, make sure everything's good, and made uh, slight adjustments to the uh, service menu on this thing. And every one of these will be double checked uh, before it ships out. Power tested on AM and sideband uh, to make sure that nothing crazy is going on with it and that they fall within the uh, parameters of output uh, that we're looking to get out of these. So that's what you get uh, when you pay for the all the way. Uh, mod all the way edition, whatever you want to call it, of the Anytone Quad 5 N2 or any of our other radios that are labeled uh, all the way. This one does have the shorter cabinet on it, chassis, whatever you want to call it. So it is the uh, newest version. Some people have asked. As you've seen, I've had them uh, on the website for a bit stock and uh, also have sold them uh, in quantity. So uh, basically selling them at a uh, wholesale type price and just selling them as just a flat out stock radio for those of you guys that like to do your own uh, radio mods, etc. But this will be the all the way version. You shouldn't have to do anything to it. So let's plug this thing up and talk on it. And I'll kind of show you in our video here uh, what you can expect out of this thing output wise and performance wise. This isn't an overview video where we're going to go into every menu function and every uh little thing about the radio. This is more centered around the uh, performance of the radio itself. Uh, for the mic we're using today, Stryker um, 75 noise canceler, which yes, it is a noise canceling mic, but it takes a battery. I have found these to give you a little bit better voice response um, out of the radio, certain radios especially. These and the Strikers do seem to run uh, pretty well with these uh, 75 NC mics. So they're growing on me. Starting to like them a little better. Uh, what we're going to do is I'll just slide the camera over to keep it, keep kind of hands free here and see if we can position where we can check it, take a look at our watt meter. Now we will, what we want to do first is check our sideband output. And we just got our RF power wide open on sideband. Sideband, you get you can manipulate your power a little bit better than AM. AM, these will still cut down a little bit, but sideband is a little bit more drastic. And again, a lot of this stuff can be adjusted in the, uh, the service menu. You can kind of set up the parameters that you want it to function by, how low you want the sideband power to go, etc. Uh, this is going to be average power on sideband just for kicks. Hello, audio. Hello, audio. So it'll whistle almost 60 average and audio over 40. This is going to be your PEP output. We're on lower sideband. We've got our RF power wide open. Hello, we're looking at the bottom scale, 100 watt slug, 100 watt scale, uh, bottom scale. And you can see it's easily putting uh, 100 watts over pretty far there against the wall, really. Hello, we can put it against the wall. Now, let's just say we want to cut our RF power back a little bit. Hello, audio check one, two, three, audio check one, two, three. That's at uh, about 12 o'clock, so still laying over there pretty good. Hello, check one, two, three, audio check one, two, three. You can see it starts to lower a little bit there. That's at 10 o'clock. Hello, check one, two, three, audio check one, two, three, audio, 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 audio check. Check, 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 check. So it makes a little bit of difference. It, you can lower it down uh, just a little bit there. And it doesn't quite, as you can see, if I roll it up, it starts laying it over there pretty far. So we can roll it all the way down and get a little bit below 100 or roll it all the way to the right and get over 100. That's going to be the same on lower sideband. Hello, check one, two, three. Audio check one, two, three. Audio check one, two, three. That's with the RF power all the way down. Now, again, let's say that you wanted to do less than that on sideband. You could always, and you want the, the low power to be less than that. You could always go into the service menu and set the lowest setting on sideband to a little bit lower than that if you wanted to. Now on average power, hello, you can see how it doesn't do hardly jack when the RF power is turned all the way down. 
Hello, audio. Okay. So it does about a, what, like five, or let's say 10 watts all the way down there on average, but the PEP stays high on it. Now all I'm going to do is switch our uh, mode here, and we're going to go to AM. Give me pan over real quick. We're now on AM, and we're going to do the same sort of test on AM that we just did on sideband. Okay. So let's just go turn our RF power wide open again. And we're on the 100 watt scale, 100 watt slug. And we've got it set at about 18 watts there. Now, generally I like to go in and turn them up to 20 watts um, on, a, on AM there. So we can actually do that real quick while I got the video going. Let's see here. So for you guys that don't know, this is like bonus content, I'd say. <laughs> Let's uh, demonstrate this. So we're just going to hold the first two buttons down. As soon as the radio goes to power up, you hit all those buttons in a row there. And you can scroll through a lot of stuff that you shouldn't be messing with. But what we're wanting to go to is AM power high, which is AM power H, and AM power low. So all we're going to do is key down. Like I said, this is just kind of bonus content, I guess you'd say. And we're just going to turn it up until we get to 20 watts there on our watt meter. Pretty safe place to run it. And if you want to change your AM power low, as you can see, we've got it where it barely moves the watt meter on low. Because we want it to be really low just in case somebody wants to turn their, uh, turn their RF power down run into a, a small amp or something. Okay, that's how you do that. Again, that wasn't really planned. That's just kind of uh, bonus content, I guess you'd say. I'm sure other channels have already shown you guys how to do that, but I don't recommend getting into the service menu and monkeying around. But if you want to change your, your top end dead key, your bottom end dead key, by all means, I'm glad to show somebody to do that because why would you want to have to send your radio off every time you need that adjusted? Some stuff you can do on your own. Save you a little bit of money and save you a little bit of time. Okay, now we're back to our test. We've got our RF power wide open. We're on AM. And there you guys go. We're back at 20 watts. So that's where we want to be, wide open. It'll whistle 50. Oh, audio 40. Hello. And talk. Hello, radio 123. Audio, radio 123. Talk around 40 average. They don't quite get up like a 955 does, even though they're very, 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 very similar. Uh, for whatever reason, any tones tend to do a little bit less, on average anyway. Uh, here's your PEP on AM. Hello, audio, one, two, three. And uh, you can see it's giving the old uh, watt meter a work out there on the 100 watt scale. <clears throat> now let's say you don't want to run a 20 watt carrier. You want to run... A little bit over 10. Hello. Still plenty of forward swing on average. Still whistles 40. Hello. Still whistles or audio is 35. And then here's your PEP. Hello. Audio 123. Audio 123. Audio. PEP didn't really fall off. Still putting 100 all the way over. Let's see. You want to do. 8 watts. Now I'm expecting some fall off here with the dead key below 10 watts. Hello. Still swings to 20 average. <laughs> still whistle 40. So if we had a power mic on it, we'd probably still audio 40, but it'll whistle 40 and audio to 20. And then here's your uh, PEP. Hello. Audio 1, 2, 3. Audio. Audio 1, 2, 3. Audio 1, 2, 3. Audio. You can see it's still putting 100 pretty far over there, but it's uh, not quite as authoritative, I guess you'd say. It's not like just slamming it. And that's with the RF power on the front of the radio halfway. Now, again, that can vary. You know, where your RF power is set in relation to how much your dead key in can vary uh, depending on where you set this stuff up in your service menu. You know, if you have the radio to where it keys 25 watts on AM power high and... 10 watts on AM power low, 
then obviously where this knob is set is going to be a little bit different. It's going to vary uh, from radio to radio. But that's kind of what we're looking at with the output of it. And are they quite as stout as like the 955s and stuff? Uh, not particularly, but they still do a really good job and well worth having the upgrades done. If you don't get the upgrades done to them, uh, they'll just barely nudge forward on average power. Uh, even from 20 watts, you might get like 24, 25 watts average. They'll just barely pull forward. Uh, what I want to do now is our last bit of the performance test, and that is testing how much we are pulling on the clamp meter here, the notorious clamp meter. So let's see how that does. We're just going to be RF power wide open on this. And this is going to be AM first. Hello, are you? Hello. So six and a half on the audio. That's about it. And then we'll go to sideband. This is upper sideband. Hello. You whistle eight and a half to nine. Hello, audio, audio. Just the audio and about the same. Again, there's your whistle on sideband just to show you the absolute max draw. And then lower sideband here. You know, six and a half amps or so. So doing good output. That is uh, testing it at, what are we at over here? 14.6, 14.6 volts. So 14.7, 14.6. You run it less, shouldn't make a huge, huge difference. I am running the beefed up power cord on it. For those wondering, that will make a difference on these. So if you run the stock power cord, uh, that's gonna make a little bit of a difference. But we're running the beefed up power cord. And again, you can make slight changes to the uh, service menu and you may get a little bit even better performance out of it. But this is kind of where I recommend running it at to uh, not stress it out, not abuse it or anything like that and uh, give you good performance along with some longevity out of it. Barely even warm to the touch back there. So uh, just as we would expect. All right, guys, I've got some of these. I'll get them listed up. Just want to do kind of a refresher video. I think we got four or five of these ready right now. So they'll be listed up on the website today. And they, uh, again, these will all be double checked on AM and sideband before they ship out. I've got an adapter plugged up to this one too, by the way. All right. Thanks guys. Rooster in 10, roostercb.com.